Hello, internet! So, my last video regarding Lazada, people seem to have found it useful. They commented um, saying thanks and that they were able to use it for their own businesses. So, I thought I would do another video explaining a little bit more kung kamusta ba talaga sa Lazada. Basically, based on our own experiences for Hardware Sugar. And sa totoo lang, hindi siya ganun kadali. Um, I'm gonna have another video where we talk about the frustrations of using Lazada. In the first month, we had one sale. It was a long story with that sale. Maybe I'll talk about it in some other video. But basically, it ended up with minura pa kami ng customer kasi daw bakit hindi dumating yung item. Nasa na yung item niya, PI ninyo, FU. I mean, our first ever customer on Lazada na uwi sa minumura kami. So, and in the end, he didn't get his item, but actually it was his fault, and I can talk about that in another video. So, our first month was dismal. It was really, really sad. No one sale, which ended up with a crazy person. We didn't get any money from that. Nobody inquiring through Lazada, nobody expressing any interest in the product. But fortunately, three months later, we went from zero sales, and on the third month, we managed to make around 300,000 pesos or six figures your sales. So in the span of three months, we went from zero to 300,000. This is basically for new Lazada sellers, but I hope also that maybe some more experienced sellers will find it useful. Or if you have your own tips, please do leave them in the comments so that everybody else can benefit from your wisdom and selling experience. So for us, that magic item was the Noctua NTH1 Thermal Paste. If you don't know, Hardware Sugar is a PC shop, so we're selling all kinds of these techie things. Anyway, you don't need to know what thermal paste is, but that was our magic product. The closest competitor was selling it at 390 pesos, and we sold it at 260. So that's roughly around a 50% difference between the price of the other guy. And people really responded to this item. They bought it, they left reviews. This product really helped us a lot and we sold so much of it, over 150 pieces I think or something. So find a magic product that's very popular and discount it like crazy. My suggestion would be just make a very small profit at the start because you're not really in it for the money. Yung mahalaga, makilala yung store mo. You're a legit seller, you have items at a good price, and selling a popular item at a low price will do that for sure. Second tip is to keep your butt in that chair. Meaning, don't move from your computer. There are multiple ways for your customers on Lazada to reach you. One of them is through direct message. Another is through questions which will appear on the product page. And both the question and your answer will appear on the product page. And Lazada tracks both of these metrics. How quickly do you reply to PMs to chat messages and how quickly do you reply to product questions and the site uses that as a measure of how legit you are as a seller. It makes both metrics public so people can see how fast you reply to PMs and how fast you reply to questions on the products. And so you don't want to leave your chair because it's very very important especially early on as a, as a young seller to reply to things very very quickly because there are multiple benefits as mentioned. I don't have direct proof of this but the Lazada algorithm seems to favor shops who reply quickly to inquiries and perhaps your items will be higher in the search results. Very important for any online seller. So that's the benefit from the Lazada side. But there's also a benefit on the consumer side because if you reply quickly, it's more likely to generate a sale. People are more likely to buy from you if you look like you're on the ball and you are ready with the product and you're ready with the information regarding the item. So for me, what I do is I do a lot of work from home. And I know at the start, it can be frustrating because you're always looking at the website and nobody is messaging you. But you really, really have to keep your butt in that chair because it's precisely when you're very young, mahalagang mahalaga na masagot ka agad. There are really some stupid questions, to be honest, on Lazada. But it's very important as well to answer all of those right away. 
it's no fun being 24/7 in a computer chair and you're waiting for a Lazada inquiry. You're not playing any games or anything like that. You can get the Lazada app on your mobile. Um, that's an easy way to respond to inquiries also on the go. And the Lazada app is pretty useful. It allows you to do those kind of things. And so that leads me to tip number three. The one thing that Lazada customers always, always want is ASAP. Gano kabilis yung delivery, gano kabilis yung packaging. Kung nag-order ako ngayon, madi-deliver ba bukas? So things need to be ASAP. Alam ko, medyo nakakainis yun. Personally, as a seller, you know, sometimes you get these inquiries na kung mag-order ako today, pwede ba ma-deliver today? And that's just not possible in the Lazada system. You try as much as possible, you try to be as fast as possible, and you'll really see that in the reviews. People will want to go back to your shop more. Especially when they know that you're taking it seriously and that this is your job. This is something you want to you want your business to succeed at and you're putting 110% effort into that business, which includes moving very, very quickly. So many, many sellers take their customers for granted. And here at Hardware Sugar, we do not. We try to act on things very, very quickly. And that's an important tip that I hope you guys can also inculcate in your own online selling. So everything ASAP leads to my next point, which is be a Boy Scout. Ano ba yung motto ng mga Boy Scout? The motto of the Scouts is laging handa. And as a Lazada seller, you need to be always prepared. Basically, it's be prepared like when you actually get an order, what do you do? How do you ship it? Do you have the necessary packing materials? Not just the Lazada pouch, but also the masking tape that you'll need. You need clear masking tape or clear packing tape. Do you have scissors ready? I mean, no joke. These very simple things, you can do them beforehand so that once you get an order, you can ship it out ASAP. It is when you get an order, you don't want to give the customer time to change his mind. So once you get an order, you can print those shipping invoices, you can click the order as ready to ship, and you can send out the item right away. Because, laging handa. Handa ka na. Ang dami mga Lazada sellers na ganun, na magbebenta ko nun ng item, pero pagdating nung order, dun palang mag order sa supplier. And that's that's just gonna get you into trouble. Huwag na tayo maglokohan. Everything up front. You're selling an item, which means that you really have that item in stock and that you are ready to ship it. That you have the necessary ink in your printer to print the shipping invoices, the necessary Lazada packing pouches. That you know which is the closest drop-off point to you or that you know how to schedule a pickup of a bulky item. Kasi sa totoo lang, we were not ready. Hardware Sugar was not ready when we first got our orders. And our first bulky order took so long to get picked up because we didn't know you had to schedule a pickup. And so that that's our bad. Well, that's our bad and Lazada's bad. But that can't be your bad anymore because we have made a video explaining very clearly how to do bulky pickups and how to do also small item drop-offs. Be prepared and make sure you have everything in place so that when you get your first order, you can ship it out right away. If you're an online seller or if you're into any kind of business, whether it's retail or some other thing, bawal tamad. Maraming dahilan kung bakit ka tatamarin. When you're starting on Lazada, nobody knows you, so there are no orders. So you think, well, pwede naman na wag na lang ilista lahat ng items kasi sobrang hassle. Uh, to be honest, tinamad din ako not to list everything. But that was a big mistake on our part. Because listing is free and it's also a way for you to get data. If you list everything, you can see ano ba yung mabenta. Ah, sa susunod, ito na lang bilhin ko, wag na lang tong isa. Because ma mas mabenta to. So every item on Lazada is a possible sale, but it's just so much more than that. It's a potential data point to gather information on what does the market want. Like we're a PC component seller. And to be honest, we've been quite surprised with some of our items that were big sellers, like the Noctua Thermal Paste. Something I would not have known if I didn't take a chance and buy it and list it on Lazada. And Bawal Tamad extends to other things because I do a lot of our own packing for the shop. Especially when there's a sale and you have multiple orders, you have to ship out six, seven cases a day. 
And those are just the cases. You need to pack other items as well. And you don't want to be late when the Lazada pickup guy comes. You want all of the items that are scheduled for pickup. You want them to be gone. You want them out of your store. It is backbreaking work, especially for bulky sellers like us, like Hardware Sugar. But even the daily grind of shipping maybe five or six small items can be, you know, it can get tiresome because you need to pack them in bubble wrap and then put them in the Lazada pouches. And then you need to walk over where we're lucky actually that we can just walk to our nearest drop-off point. Yung nga, the only advice I can give is bawal tamad. You have to pack them and you have to pack them well. Well, I guess, you know, tip number six is have fun with your job. You get a lot of crazy inquiries on Lazada. You get a lot of very irate customers. And so, to be honest, I don't give up. Man, I mean, you get mad at me. It's okay if it's really something that we did wrong. You know, you don't be like the other shops. You don't need to be these robot cookie cutter responses. We go through the Lazada responses of Hardware Sugar. I say when I think the customer is being, you know, kind of unreasonable. It's not very obvious. I was a philosophy minor in college. So I do reference some philosophers in some of the responses. And so basically, I get my kicks out of responding promptly and accurately, but also with a bit of cheekiness. I'm not saying you have to be like that, but I'm saying have fun with it. If you want to reply in all emojis, as long as the customer gets it, sure. Be fair to the customer, but also be fair to yourself and be fair to your staff. And have a sense of humor about it. Have fun with it. These little basic tips will help increase your sales. Um, they have certainly helped Hardware Sugar and we're hoping to build on our success. But if you're watching this and if you need computer components, please just inquire with us directly because Hardware Sugar is one of the very few PC shops in the Philippines which has free shipping for the entire Metro Manila. If you want to buy straight from our store, all of our items in store are 100 pesos off. And this flows back to number six. It's like, have fun with it. Have your own promos. Have your own special perkiness. Don't do things just because other people are doing them. Do things because they're good for your customer and because they're good for you. So I hope that these basic tips help you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and hit the subscribe button. For your PC needs, consider buying from us, Hardware Sugar, at Lazada, or on our website. You can find links in the description below. And thank you for watching. See you next video.